Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizwundu if you are new here and today we have a new video of New Makeup in Australia where I talk all things new in makeup that is specifically for us Australians. So that includes us having a look at Priceline, Mecca Sephora, uh, but then we also have a look over at Trend Mood and kind of talk about and predict what we think might come and when it might come. So I talk about things that are here now and things that I think will be coming here in the future. And because I do this every second Monday, I'm getting a good idea of being able to predict what's going to be coming. Um, so we don't talk about all those brands that we cannot access, just things that are focused for us. So if you like the sounds of that, continue watching. So we're going to start with Priceline. I don't know what's going on, but it's like super glary bright today. And maybe if I turn the brightness up, aha, uh -huh, now I can see better. So to turn the brightness on my laptop. <laughs> Let's just have a quick look. A new by nature has a natural definition brow palette for $30. Maybelline natural brow duo. This has already been a thing. Did they not used to have a brow powder that was like a weird tip? I think I had it and I hated it because you couldn't get precision. It was super weird. There's two colors, deep brown and gray. I wonder what that issue is with their color selection. Priceline, tell me what's up with that, with your lack of colors. So that's retailing for $19.95. One end is a precise triangular tip and the other side is a powder packed sponge. I just, I feel like that would just make it look messy. Uh, the Quick Flick have extended their range. It looks like we have the Brow Sculpting Lamination Gel in clear for $34.99. Oh, I need to turn to this side. What am I doing? L'Oreal Color Rich Intense Volume Matte Lipstick, currently 50% off for $11.97. Let's have a look. There's 12 colors. Okay, so they're all various shades of pink and red and purple. When I say that, I mean, there's not like many neutral brownie tones or orangey tones. It's a powdery matte lipstick that that's never flat, never dry. Up to 16 hour wear. Um, I just think the colors are not varied enough. They all look so similar. <laughs> just various shades of the same. So I think I would pass on that. I always have my makeup link down below if you're interested in anything that I am wearing. We have a new Revolution Reloaded palette called Prestige. Now, these are now $10. They used to be $8 and I used to get them on sale for $4. Um, I still have two that I really like. I just, you would have seen them in my recent declutter video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here where I just went through my whole collection and did a declutter. Um, and I still have two of these reloaded palettes that I love. I had three other ones that I've decluttered because they weren't as good, but I have two that are really good. Uh, is there anything else? No, because now we're up to where we were two weeks ago. So that's everything at Priceline, not a lot. Sephora just finished their 20% off sale. I did not buy anything. I held restraint. I didn't, there was, I needed um, a top up of my way leaving conditioner that I swear by, but I just didn't get it. Cause then I knew I would have like bought other things to get the free shipping and I just didn't need to do that. So I decided to not. Um, so I've been at very good shop new arrivals, yeah. That's what I want to do. Okay, the new Dior concealer, it is called the Backstage Face and Body Flash Perfector Concealer. I've heard really bad things about this, so I'm not interested in getting it, $52. Like the face and body foundation, amazing. Oh, it's almost, all the shades are sold out except for the deep shades. Wow, and even the deep shades only have a few left. Oh my God, this whole thing's gonna sell out. Oh, cause it was on sale. Yeah, okay. Um, but I've, I've heard bad reviews. So this is described as enriched with caffeine, immediate fresh and revitalizing effect, high coverage. So conceals flawless finish and natural glow. I've heard it's quite cakey. So I'm gonna have a miss on that one, but it looks popular. looks like it's almost sold out. So I own this. And I bought it directly from Pat McGrath. Um, this is the Divine Blush and Glow Trio. This was from the Christmas collection. Holiday, sorry, not Christmas, holiday collection. So four, five months, no, it would be five months ago or more because it comes out in what, October? So October, November. 
Uh, it's $85. I got mine on sale during the Black Friday sale. Yeah, I love it. So if you're willing to spend the moolah, I do recommend this. It is beautiful. Did, I think there's only one shade though. We've only got Galactic Sun and there's two. There's We don't have the deeper one, of course. It's like a reoccurring issue, guys. Why don't you have both? Ah, anyway, I have this one because it's the lighter one, obviously. Galactic Sun. It is, the highlight is beautiful and the blushes are beautiful. And I got this because I wanted to try the blush. Um, and this way I got a cool tone, a warm tone, and a highlighter because I've not tried anything. So if you've not tried anything, from Pat McGrath like these products, I do recommend it, it's real nice. But it's limited edition, and it's from six months ago. And it's holiday collection and we're just getting it now. That's wild to me. I think that's it. Um, Mecca, I'm pretty sure we have new at Mecca. I thought, you know, for Mother's Day, there'd be a lot, like, you know, Mother's Day kits. No, that's not it, that's not happening. Hopefully it's weather like this on Mother's Day. It's real pretty, it's a really nice day supposed to be raining and it's not it might rain later though why am i talking about the weather well you guys don't even care <laughs> so we have some new mac products we have some little kits i was just talking about that I was just saying where are the kits for for mother's day so this is the made to wow brow kit online only for 60 dollars. looks like it's a clear gel and then the pencil uh we have the lashes to lips kit in three different shades for 70 70 dollars and it looks like we've got the lip and prime the lip primer a lipstick with different shades and the is that the new mascara from kylie oh we got the kendall and kylie collection i thought we would this is the uh lip crayon set it looks like we didn't get everything though which is pretty typical for 54 dollars and then we got the eyeshadow palette for 81 dollars which is all matte 81 dollars I, I just, that just clicked in my head that it's $81 for Kylie. Like, I understand it's bigger, but $81. That's too much. Oh, then we got one more thing, the lip gloss. Okay, by Terry, one shade. Oh, bloody typical. Brightening CC powder for $90. It looks like a bronzer. Online only. That's interesting. Limited edition. Illuminating powder captures the light and boosts your natural radiance. Color correcting pigments, rose hip oil. Okay, so there are different shades. There are three, it looks like there's three different shades and we have one. So I don't understand, is it a bronzer? Or is it just a deeper toned finishing powder? We'll never know, because it doesn't tell us. I also see here it says, um, our gift to you, receive a complimentary Mother's Day poem card with any item pur purchased from the Mother's Day gift guide. I don't know what that entails, but it sounds sweet. Why are we getting holiday? This is, you know what's happened? This is my opinion, I don't actually know. Have we just gotten dead stock from America? This is a Laura Mercier holiday collection, first ball cheek palette in Moonlit. It's beautiful, but that was six months ago. Like. Did we get dead stock? Are we like TK Maxx now or something, but like more expensive? What is up with that? That's not good. And everything else I talked about two weeks ago. So that's all, there's not a lot. Although Mecca tends to bring things out at the beginning of each month in a big way. You know what I'm really waiting and hoping comes to Mecca? It will, but I'm surprised it's not here already. Is the Costas Foundation. I want it. I'm waiting for it. Where is it? Are we really delayed with Costas? I didn't think we were, but maybe there's such high demand for it that they're just like, oh, Australia can wait. We need to keep restocking our more important countries. That's my guess. <laughs> Cause I want it. I really want to try it. People are loving it, especially people with dry skin. So I'm like, uh, excuse me. I'm going to have a look at Adore Beauty, but I don't know. Okay, so Adore Beauty also has the MAC Lashes to Lips kit. I'm not going to show you the picture I just did. And also the Made to Wow Brow kit. So they've got that if you'd prefer to shop at Adore Beauty. We've got some Napoleon Purtis, which I don't even know where they sell anymore. Do they? They've got some Mother's Day packs. This is what I was thinking, like, where is it? Um, we have the That's Fancy Mother's Day pack for $99 and the Natural Novo 
Mother's Day pack. Got a variety of little goodies there. And also the always prepped Mother's Day pack for $79. Uh, YSL have some Mother's Day sets and so do Lancome. I'm gonna do a big screenshot and show it to you on the screen because I don't wanna do these individually. <laughs> Existing products, you know the deal with good value. I am desperate to try the Libra from YSL perfume and I smelt the, I've smelt it before and I want it. And I smelt the um, My Way from, who is that from? Giorgio Armani? That smells really nice too. But I don't need any more perfumes, so. And that's it. So there wasn't really anything new from Adore Beauty. Now we're gonna go into indie Instagram arena. So from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics, which is an indie Australian eyeshadow brand on Etsy. I have some of their eyeshadows. They're very, they've got, they're known for their like shimmers, not, not mattes, but like beautiful shimmer, duochrome, multi-chrome kind of things. They have released a quad called the Dark, the Hunter. I'm trying to read it. <laughs> I'm trying to understand it. A solo adventure in the deep forest. A new adventure emerges from a thick green ivy bush nearby. The hunter is an expert in fighting, survival, and nature. You may be curious to know who inspired this palette. Aragon, Aragon and Geralt of Rivia are our main inspos for this gorgeous collection. I don't know that reference. First eight palette purchases will receive a free blue hunter green D20. I don't know what that means. We have Poison, a true deep chrome forest green, Whispering in the Wind, a flaky blue sky blue that shifts iridescent green under different lighting. Pacify Beast, a green bronze with flecks of red shimmer shattered throughout. Uh, Range of Vision, a gold prism light formula that shifts yellow gold and to pinkish gold under different lights. The most beautiful highlighter shade you will ever see. Single pan, 16 Australian dollars each. Bundle of four pans, $45. All four pans and magnetic palette, $50. Pre-orders start the 11th of April. So they're taking pre-orders now. This is not my color story. I think it's pretty, but I'm not a bluey purple too much. So I won't be getting this, but that's purely because it's not, I just know it's not something I would reach for in terms of colors, but I think it looks really pretty. So if you're interested, you can pre-order now. Ulta 3, I don't have a picture. They had a sneak peek on their stories and they are actually sending me, they have a new collection coming out. I don't even know what it is. I have an idea, but I'm not gonna say because I'm not allowed to. Um, but that is coming out, I wanna say in two days, tomorrow or the next day. So Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I love Ulta 3, I'm a huge fan. I will link my Ulta 3 full face video here so you can see it's an Australian brand but sold more in chemists. Um, so you've probably seen them in your local chemist and they have some really, really good stuff. So um, I'm really excited to see what they're bringing out. And yeah, I don't have a picture but they had a little sneak peek of like a blurred picture on their stories. Um, it doesn't look like eyeshadows. It looked like bottle products. So stay tuned for that. I don't think that, I can't think of any other Australian brand that has bought anything out. I, I keep forgetting to save posts, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing else that I can think of that's Australian. There are a couple of new indie brands that I have found. Let's talk about those actually. One is called Cloud Chaser. Here in Sydney, actually somewhere not far from where I work, like the next suburb. So I saw that on her website where they're located and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I've probably seen you without even knowing. Um, so this is an online beauty, uh, Cloud Chaser Cosmetics AU. So their Instagram is, I'll, sh I'll just, I'll just show you. Hey. So this, they actually did bring out new products, I think. So, I mean, technically it's new, but I wanted to show you some new brands that I have found. Just from following other makeup enthusiasts and them finding them and then sharing about them, you know, it's part of the community. So I think I wanna try these guys soon. They sell singles, but they look beautiful. So if we have a look on the website, but if I remember, I will link the 
for 15% off your first order if you sign up. There you go. Um, I'll try and remember to link it down below if you're interested to check out their website or their Instagram. And then there's another one, Tiger. Tiger Bunny Cosmetics. Multi-chrome chameleon eyeshadow. Vegan cruelty free. Handcrafted with love in Victoria, Australia. Ships to Australia, US, Canada, and New Zealand. And they are on Etsy. So let's, I'll give you a little screenshot of their Etsy. And they're very similar in that they, they look like they do more black based. So I'm not like black based are multi-chrome. So that's not completely my style, if I'm honest, but it might be yours. So I'm going to show you that. Um, Tiger Bunny Cosmetics, I will link their Instagram down below as well. So there's some two new Australian ones that I have found. And I've actually found out about them from two accounts that I follow, two Aussie girls. First one is Kim Croft. I will link her down below. She has a YouTube and Instagram, I believe. And then the other one that I found out a lot about these brands, actually there's three. And these are Australian indie makeup enthusiasts. We have, what is her name? Turner Trees. That's her handle. Is that her full name? Turner, Turner Trees Beauty. I don't know if that's her full name, but that's her Instagram handle. And then the other one is, I love her makeup so much. Let's find her. Jack Wow Frosty. I don't think that's her full name, but it might be. Jack, there we go. Uh, their name, they, she. Their name is Jack. It's, it's hard when it's an Instagram handle to know how the wording <laughs> is pronounced, but it says here, that their name is Jack. So let's move on to finally trend mood. This is where it gets juicy. Givenchy has Prism Libre Press Powder. There are three colors available on that website, but there are six colors in the line. Okay, so this is just their pressed version of their um, loose. I would love to try this. I'm not gonna lie, but I just, sometimes I can't justify like luxury prices. Maybe if I was richer, absolutely. Um, but paying like $100 for like one product, it really hurts. Speaking of, Christian Dior, Dior Forever Couture Perfect Cushion, dressed by the Bayardier pattern on the case. Available in Asia next month. It might not even make it to us, but this is stunning. You know how some makeup is, it's fashion or it's art? This is one of those, absolutely beautiful. Okay, I just saw this this morning. Oh, two days ago. Well, I saw Pat McGrath using this on her Instagram. This is the Divine Skin Rose 001, The Essence, the trans transformative secret to hydrated, revitalized and luminous skin. The essence is formulated with 97% botanically derived Ingredients that transform skin in an instant and deliver even more major results over time. Rose Biotic Pink Liquid calms, rebalances, and fortifies skin barrier. Hydrosphere 18, which is the light li white liquid, and nourishes, softens, and deeply hydrates. It looked so beautiful on the model skin. Of course, they're going to make it look amazing, but it's going to be so expensive. Skincare, Pat McGrath, Merge It, so expensive. But they look nice. Probably won't get it, but it'll look nice. Celebrity skincare brands that we will not get. Okay, YSL, uh, available now in Europe. The new lip and cheek tint, so from their new line. They have the face tint already. Creamy tinted balm for lip and cheek with 90% skincare based formula. Lightweight, melts into the skin and blends seamlessly. So it's made with hyaluronic acid, orange blossom, and their gardens in Morocco and Shea butter. Three shades, pinch, which is the peachy one, flush, which is red, and chills, which is plum. Off-white have launched fragrance. Oh my God, it's gonna be so unisex. I love unisex fragrance. That is my jam. They have solution number one, solution number two, solution number three, and solution number four. 185 US dollars each. It's called paperwork. We're not even gonna get this. And if we do, it's gonna be like so long away. So they have an earthy, citrus, floral, and gourmand. Earthy, sand, airy, oh, wind and the seas. 
wood bergamot top notes that turn into sand accord at the core with a woody signature of vetiver and patchouli. That's the one. Earthy is the one for me. Citrus. Zest of fresh ginger with a woody signature base. Oh my God, I want that. I love the scent of ginger. Floral. Power of musk and ambrette with a feminine and intense rose de, me, de I can never say this word. Damescan, damescana. I know I said that wrong, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I'm not interested in that. And then gourmand, I do love a gourmand. Warm, woody and leathery base with a fresh urban aroma. Eucalyptus, lavender and woods takes possession of the city represented by black leather. <gasps> I want three out of the four. It looks like a fire hose. I'm so into this. I can't afford this, but do I want it? Absolutely. Oh gosh. All right, Danessa Myrix. Myrix, I always say it wrong. The blurring balm powder. What do you mean? Balm powder for face and eyes. Texture reducing coverage, co coverage, a texture reducing coverage boosting blurring balm that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. So one universal flashback free shade, prime blur and set, and then 10 tinted shades, prime cover blur set. What? It can be used to prime, to highlight, contour, to set or worn alone. Blows pores, textures, fine lines, easy sheer coverage, petal like texture, natural matte finishes, Finish it balances oil all day, formulated with upsalite, upsalite hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, and vegan squalane oil, free of fragrance, parabens, and phthalates. Clean formula works seamlessly with the rest of the yummy collection, included spatula for hygienic use. Available 29th of April on their website and retailers. I am intrigued. This is like not just a multi purpose, it is multi multi purpose. And I have been tempted by that skin tint. It looks beautiful. How do we get this? How do we get this, guys? A new fragrance from YSL. Because you know I love talking about fragrance, guys. This is Mon, Mon Paris Lumiere Eau de Toilette. Uh, trans inspired by Saint Laurent's transparent blouses, a sheath of black organza lets the nude colored satin sparkle through. Top note of Datura, I don't know, even know what that is. Middle Rose Absolute Base White Lotus, not for me. Oh yes, I don't think I talked about this last fortnight. I think it came out just after. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Bronzer and they are coming through with the shades. It is a soft matte long wear bronzer. I think I'm gonna have to get it. Eight soft matte shades. I think Fair looks really good because it's got a readiness, a pinky readiness to it. Whereas light looks more yellow. I definitely want to check this out in store because I can. Um, I really hope they come to Priceline soon. Priceline's been pretty good with it, things like that lately. Um, Huda Beauty brought out these Color Block Obsessions palettes. And there is a cake liner in the top left hand corner. So eight shades and a cake liner. Oh, interested. Not interested. Uh, Wayne Goss has the cream foundation, luxury cream foundation, 12 shades, full coverage, natural satin finish, weightless powder, setting powder, translucent matte finish. Okay, so there's a powder and a cream. And they are available now on Beautylish. The Simpsons have a collection with Revolution. Haven't they? They did like a Halloween looking one, didn't they? This is the uh, Summer of Love full collection. Brush set, bag, eyeshadow palette, Homer and Marge, Lisa eyeshadow palette, first kiss ombre highlighter, sunshine ombre highlighter, daydream super dewy blush, radiant super dewy bronzer, luscious lip tint, fabulous lip tint, rad lip tint, and fixing spray. Full collection, $111.20 American. So I would say just under 150. I love the packaging, but that's it. That's the only thing I like. The packaging is so good, but that's it. Colourpop. I'm sorry, Trend Moods ColourPop sneak peek is so, they're really bad. I really hate the photos, that, but that's all I can show you. Actually, I could go over to ColourPop's website, but no. Stop being so lazy. Everyone's going wild for the Winnie the Pooh collection, hey? It's cute. I used to love Winnie the Pooh, but I am an adult now, so. All right, so there's been three collections that I haven't spoke. I think I did speak about one. 
the the really neutral palettes here's the collection full collection $64 but they also all come individually so you have the heart of stone no set in stone palette $16 which is the warmer toned one and then the twist of slate um, and then there's a uh, lip set fresh kiss I don't know what that is I don't care lip stain it's a lip stain <laughs> And then we have another collection, Daisy Does It, which is super cute. God, I love daisies as like aesthetic. I think they're so cute. My dog was called Miss Daisy. May she rest in peace. She was a shipu, shit poo, a shih tzu poodle. And she was a little, she was a mini one. She was like a little ball of black fluff. Miss Daisy, love of my life. Oh, makes me sad thinking about it. Anyway, I love daisies and I love Miss Daisy. And this is $125 for the full collection. The palette is $18 called Daisy Does It. Very cute, don't need it. And it looks like because it's not here that the um, Winnie the Pooh collection sold out, I'm guessing. Why is it not here? It must have sold out. So now I have to find a picture of it. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Here is the Let's Roll collection. <laughs> I get so distracted. I do. Uh, which is, I love the theme, but it's not my cup of tea, but I love, love the aesthetic of this 70s roller, roller skating theme. Real cool, love it. Okay, we have the Sweet As Can Be Eyeshadow Palette, the three super shock cheeks for $10 each. Silly Old Bear. Oh, you can buy the, what? You can buy the bear. Honey Pot Lip Scrub and Mask Duo. That's cute, just smells like honey. And then the Lux Gloss Trio. The Honey Pot's out of stock, yeah. The Honey Pot's went wild, I think. I think this whole collection went and went a little, a little bit wild. It's not for me, but I think it is Adorable. I mean, Winnie the Pooh is adorable. There's there's no two ways about it. I used to have a big Winnie the Pooh. I did. I used to love Winnie the Pooh because he's so sweet. He's so sweet. From Cleona. Is that, am I saying that right? Cleona? I think so. Cosmetics. Isn't this so beautiful? Oh my God. When is this out? 27th of April. <sighs> I am tempted. It's very colorful for me though, but I've never tried this brand and I've always wanted to. And they're highlighters. <gasps> okay, let me show you the highlighters. So the palette speaks for itself. Like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. There's, um, there is nail polishes, two nail polishes. Where is the picture of the highlighters? Did you just forget to take the pictures of the highlighters? Okay, so I can't get a picture of the highlighters. I'll have to go find that. The palette is going to be 50 or oh, 60 US dollars. Uh, 13 shades with six different formulas. One glitter type iridescent multi-chrome, one vibrant multi-chrome, two sparkle shadows, two duochromes, three metallics, four velvet satins. The highlighters are Tropico, a pale light pink multi-chrome. That's the one I want with an intense peach gold green shift and Pattaya, a mid-tone cool pink multi-chrome highlighter with bright green teal pink shifts. They are 1760 US dollars each. There is the dragon fruit um, cosmetic bag that actually looks like a dragon fruit, 1360. And then the brush set also looks very similar to dragon fruit, 3190 US. Stunning. I think that's pretty much it anyway. Let's have a look at her story. Sometimes she puts things on stories that she doesn't put on. Yeah, that she doesn't even put on the actual page. There's just so much new makeup, it's wild. When you look at Tremmen, you really realize how much there is. And that's not even all of it. She doesn't even do all the indie brands. Can you imagine being her? And like literally every brand, makeup, skincare, fragrance, sends you everything. You'd be over, it'd be overwhelming. It would be so overwhelming. All right, that is everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below your favorite release that we talked about today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.